millions of other Kenyan girls whose fathers and mothers cannot afford to provide sanitary towels for them. And uh, we cannot uh, overstate the need to get sanitary towels to our young ladies in schools. And if possible, even to mothers in markets who cannot afford. Honorable <laughs> Speaker, you know, many people in government take it that the political class ask for these things for the sake. But the political class, including our very gracious women reps, ask for these things because they are in touch with the people and they know the problems that the people are living with. And uh, as you have directed, Honorable Speaker, you know, this function has been a CISO, as uh, Honorable Sabina Chega has said, and she has been the chair of education. She chaired the health committee in the last parliament also. And now I know that we have the social protection committee uh, in our standing orders. But there has been a CISO between the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Gender and uh, Public Service. And Honorable Speaker, at one point this function was in the Ministry of uh, Gender, then moved to education. Now I'm told it is back to gender. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uncertain as I speak. I cannot speak with uh, certainty where the funds currently reside. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, I will commit to get a statement, a joint statement by the Cabinet Secretary for uh, Education and the Cabinet Secretary for Gender. First, to tell us, if the, because we appropriated money, for all I can remember, in the last financial year we appropriated money for sanitary towels. In this financial year we have also appropriated money for sanitary towels. So we must know from the last financial year, what did that money do if it is indeed true that there are no sanitary towels in our schools. In this financial year, have they procured, have they delivered, and what are they doing to make sure that that last mile delivery to the girls happens and in due course. So I will commit, Honorable Speaker, uh, hopefully by Tuesday next week to give uh, a statement to the House. Thank you, Thank you. It is, it is well directed. Note from my direction is not Committee of Health. It is actually the two ministries, uh, Gender and Education. Thank you, Majority Leader. Next order. Order number five, papers. Chairperson, Committee on Diaspora Affairs and Migrant Workers. Honorable Speaker, I beg to lay the following papers on the table of the House today, uh, on Wednesday, 4th October 2023. Reports of the Diaspora Affairs and Migrant Workers Committee on the study visit to Ethiopia from 7th to 14th, May 2023. Thank you. Thank you. Chairperson Select Committee on NGCDF. Microphone. 